Today on the 50 pound brain we're finally back at it on Higgins and we're going to try and cover the dash panel with black vinyl um, and the, the theory is I don't I don't know how to do this I'm going to tell you right now this is going to be a experiment and hopefully it goes well but I thought a lot about this I haven't done a video in a while because we've been trying to sell a house so we've been spending a lot of time at the house on the weekends and our time off so that's finally um, coming to an end uh, we've got the house ready to go so we're back to this but what I'm thinking is this distance I hope you can see it all because once you start the GoPro app, or once you start recording, you can't see your preview anymore. But this distance here is shorter than this distance. And so I'm going to secure the vinyl on this bottom edge because it's easier to stretch than the bunch. <clears throat> and that's my theory. We'll get this secured and then we'll <clears throat> work it around and stretch where we need to stretch and relief cut where we need because whoever the artists were at Triumph when they did these originally there were no wrinkles in this um, covering be it leather or vinyl or whatever they used I don't know I think leather but so we're going to try and replicate that effort we'll see this may go horribly wrong but I'm thinking it'll It'll work out okay. This piece, well, the whole kit for covering all these pieces came from the Roadster factory. <clears throat> and uh, they're pre-cut, so they must work. You just have to, I think it's just a matter of patience and uh, some work and let the glue set up so it can tolerate being pulled on and, and whatnot. So let's get at it. All right, first thing we're going to do, I mean, I know it's not got all the old adhesive and backing material off of it, but we're going to we're going to work with it as it is. Just make sure it's not oily. to be accomplishing anything here. But, right. Now the other thing I'll need to remember is once we get to wrapping in the surround to put these nut plates in for the vent there's a I don't know what they're called basically the little metal thing that says vent pull for this for the cow vent knob there's two screws two sheet metal screws hold that on and they go into these nut plates so i gotta make sure those are both in one's in there i gotta get the other one in before we cover it up with vinyl all right so this is what goes on there after we get it covered with the vinyl uh, i hope you can see that Got both our nut plates in now. Oh. 
let's just I need to get something to spread out this contact cement. Okay, before we get going, let's get the center marked. <coughs> of our material. And <clears throat> we want to, okay, so now we got that. Put this kind of on the center and make sure we have plenty of wrap. And that's about centered. So I'm going to hold this up. I hope this all works out. My concerns are when we go to make these turns, do I have enough material? Maybe I should do it like this. I don't need much here to wrap, but I will need it. Yeah. Okay. And I think that'll do us nicely so okay <clears throat> let's see Yeah, I think that'll do. I could probably Yeah, let me give a little a little bit more material. So because my concern is we get to really yank it on this. I want that wrap. It's gonna it's gonna put up with some violence. So I think that'll do us. And so we're gonna have of course we'll have the outside edge glued. But also want the inside edge putting up a fight as well. So our order of operation is going to be this whole bottom edge first. I mean, walking out from the center, attaching it, pulling it tight, and clipping it. This is going to be a process. This is going to be a time consumer. Um, but supposedly this wicked strong adhesive that I've got only takes 20 minutes to set up I me mean, fully cure obviously in 24 hours but I think give us I think that's gonna look good if we're successful which I think we will be if we just take our time all right now let me go find something to stir and apply that okay doke we're using the old Stay Bond V36. We had this in the locker at work and it actually expired, but it had never been opened. So, they were going to have to dispose of it anyway.
permitted. This is going to be our keystone right here for the whole rest of the effort. Let's make sure we're not all crooked. That's tough to tell as well, but I think we did okay. There's our center hole. And then we'll put a bunch of these because I don't <clears throat> probably out of mark as I go how far I spread glue at any given time. And then we'll come back and do the inside. I don't want to get too committed at one step. So all right. Now we wait for a little bit. All right, so we've got our initial point secured. Let's go ahead and press on, gluing the rest of this on. So I went ahead and glued the other side, same process as this side, just to not make this video so long and monotonous. <clears throat> so we're going to let this set up, and then we're going to get into these two curves, and I think that's going to be a little challenging, but we'll see. I want to make sure these are good and set, though, so we'll probably give them at least a half an hour to uh, bond up. Let me see if I can give you a view of what we got so far. So this is what this is how we're looking, and then we're going to get into here. Here's the end of the thing, and then yeah, getting into this and do being able to do this wrap on these corners without wrinkles is going to be the fun part, I think. So we'll have to figure that out. <clears throat> All right, so this edge is glued in pretty nice you're going to see all these dents i hope these come out from the clothes pins hopefully if i can heat it up they might relax some but i unfolded this edge because now we're going to get into gluing these two curves and this needs to be flat this is just going to cause us problems if we try and do that well, maybe not too bad, but we'll avoid it all together just by flipping this back out, gluing this on both ends, and then we can start doing relief cuts in here when we roll it back over at the end. But this is where we are. It's tedious, but hopefully, like I said, I think it's going to turn out pretty good. I'm tired of looking at Higgins Dash. Um, and just the wood and the bare metal. There's no grab handle because it goes. the screws for the grab handle go through this. So it'll just be nicer. It'll be a nicer dash overall. I 
I know this isn't the best spreading tool a bolt, but it allows me to stir all the way to the bottom of this stuff. That's why I use it. This is going to get quite a bit of glue. Because this is going to be the kind of parts that stretch stressed the most when it comes time to do the front. This should probably have a roller or some kind of way to spread this and keep it flat. This is the only part that's going to be a problem. Actually, we can just roll this back on here. I don't know if that's going to do us any good either. Do more harm than good. that end. bunch of little pegs that hold this to the dash because and they are snap-ins for the um, tonneau cover you can basically seal off oh, I do not want to get that on there you can basically seal off the cockpit other than the driver area um, with a tonneau cover to where it's just you driving and everything else has the fabric or vinyl or leather or whatever it was cover for wind resistance on racing I'm not sure what all rain I mean it is Great Britain so seal off everything else if you didn't have a passenger if it was just you so alright let's do the same thing over here Okay, there we go. Now we wait again. <clears throat> okay, so here's what we're dealing with. I hope you can see this. Is this all bunch up? So my theory worked relatively well for the straights. I mean, that'll come out looking pretty nice. But we get down in here into these bends. I don't know how they did it. So I'm gonna experiment with some with some cuts just to see if 
we relieve it a little bit, what'll happen right here? this edge back let's cut it all away to this edge okay put some fresh in here this is where it's going to get glue stop Glue stop. That stuff skins over pretty quick. have enough material to do this top edge is what here. Hope you can see that. to cut it. I mean, I would be. I'll drive him with those wrinkles. I'm fine with that, but I want to try and do my best to get those out first. Let's 
so. Yeah. Alright, let me work at this some more. Alright, now we get to the tough part. See our wrinkles there? We can pretty much pull those out, but we've got to... Ah, this is the tough part. We've got to pull this way. directly to the metal. And that one will go in after as well. Let's see what we're doing here. I hope I can get that glue off of there. Right there. And then we can come in with this. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be very happy with that. Let's get our glue applied. It's showtime. I hope you can still see.
just don't want to get this glue on the front. I don't care if it's on the back here. On the outside, you know, the black part of the vinyl. not too bad. I'll take that. I think this, uh, no, I'm going to say that might take some of it out, but it's not going to. what it is well <clears throat> we're done with the vinyl application and I have to say this end which is unfortunately the passenger side came out really nice I'm really I'm stoked with that there's one I don't know what happened there with the vinyl hopefully there's a hole right under that and it won't matter because um, there'll be a some kind of fastener there that end came out pretty good this end, however, did not, and I'm really kind of disappointed with, I don't know, but this thing would not cooperate at all. Um, I don't know what all was going down with this. Got this cut out for the vent pull. Escutcheon, I think that's how it's pronounced. That thing goes there um, for the cow vent knob. Uh, what would I do different? Um, I don't know if I would use this this stay bond. This is it's really good glue, but um, I think I might use something that was a little bit easier to clean up afterwards. Because I don't know, there is some some glue residue got on here, and I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to get that off to where the vinyl will survive it. Um, I don't know that I would do this in the sun again. I was getting hot. It was getting hot. It may, like I said, maybe it was helping me until it cooled off and maybe this constricted some. I don't know. I don't know exactly what, what all was going on, but it's done. Um, for now, if I get sick of it, well, I can always just peel it off and do it again. Um, knowing what I know now. So I would still do this edge first, the small edge. Uh, and maybe that was... The, the problem was getting into, when I got into this bend, getting, cutting these relief cuts in here. I mean, this... I really would like to have watched one of the old timers that did this for a living do this. I think it would be educational and inspirational. But like I said, first time doing it, it didn't come out too bad. I'm you know, disappointed with that. My buddy Rob would say that's like a looks like a bull's butt sewed up with baling wire. But it's covered. Next time you see it, it'll be installed on Higgins. Um, it'll have the nice, sexy chrome pegs up here. It'll be a nice contrast. I've got a new one of these es escutcheons. This one's original, probably OEM, but it's it's showing somewhere. So I've got another one of those. And uh, yeah, either way, it won't make Higgins any less fun to drive. So. But it'll make them look a little better. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. I'm sorry that it's taken so long for me to post another video. Um, 
had all my time taken up with prepping a house for sale but that's on the market and that's going along just fine now so remember to like and subscribe thanks again for watching sticking with me being patient <laughs>